In this video, I will show you how you, without paying any money, can start lead generating for your real estate business. So lead generation actually is not that hard and you can Google it. You can go free lead generation, you can pay up for lead generation. There are several ways, but the concept of lead generation, it's actually a fully campaign. But if you need to start lead generation right now to get clients, here are a few ways how you can do it. So if we have not been formally introduced, thanks for jumping on here onto my video. Annette Block, a real estate broker, but also I help agents to dominate their local real estate market so they can serve their clients best and be the community leader in your market. If you want to see more of this video helping you to dominate your local market, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give me some thumbs up if you like what you see and also cl uh, click the little bell so that you get notified every time our channel brings up new videos. So let's jump into lead generation. You can do free on Facebook so you can start getting business right now. All right, guys, so now let's discover how you can lead generate without paying money and doing it organically by posting into groups, posting on your site, sharing into your groups, or even posting uh, to different areas, Craigslist, wherever, whatever you want to use. So for this, you need an IDX uh, website where people can search homes you are offering on the site and then they need to register on your site so that you can receive the lead. So here we are on our website. I pulled already up homes for sale with pool in Fort Lauderdale and I came up with a whole list where now people can search homes. So what we want to do is you have to go to your IDX site or to your website and go in there and build a list of homes with the criteria you want to take on. So when we are selling a list of homes, um, let's say a list of pool homes in Fort Lauderdale under $500,000. So here I am going into my search. I put in Fort Lauderdale. Um, let's, let's put it 15 miles for sale. Uh, bedroom, bathroom, it doesn't matter for me. And pools, now I am searching and I get a link up here, which I now move over into a bit.ly link so that people don't see the long link in Facebook, but the bit.ly link and will will uh, uh, click that link and I even can monitor that link uh, how many times it was clicked. So for this we need an IDX website and you need a CRM so that you are able to follow up with your leads. So you have a CRM in here. So you got the CRM with the program as long you are staying with us. So all the leads should be funneled in, in here and we have a different description there as well. So, but you want to do um, a CRM, you want to start looking, thinking about what you want to sell. We give you a few ideas so that you are able to start posting onto your website and uh, onto your Facebook page and then or on your profile and then moving forward into your um, um, paid advertising. But for now, everything is free. We are using your Facebook profile as well, Marketplace. So let's go to it. So for this, you have pulled up your IDX website, you put in your criteria, you got that link up here, and now we are going over to Bitly dot com, which is a URL shortener. And here we are creating a new link. 
where we are now putting in our long link. Open. That was not the link, it didn't copy. Oops. Go in here, link this, copy. And now we are able to put it in here, paste. And now we are getting a shortened link up here. And now we could customize it, FTL tool, homes. So it looks nice so people know what they are getting. Let's see if we are able to create. Save. That link is already taken. So let's see, pool home, save. Yeah, that is good. So we have the bit.ly link. Now I copy that bit.ly link and move forward into posting on my profile. So you would post it here on your profile, on your personal profile. Let me go up here. And what you do now, you post up here. It takes a little bit longer when we are online. And now you should think about a picture first. So we are taking a picture. We are looking for pool homes and you want to look for pool homes that are similar in your area so that the homes in your area match your advertising. So you could take old listing photos if you have or you could go to free uh, sites where you can download pool homes, which we also have in the area. So that's some, let's see if we have a good pool home in here. That is a good one in here. It fits our area. And now we are showing the pool homes. Yes. And I am going to my text and you will get a write up of this text. Where we now paste that text in here. Wow, check out this amazing, no, that's not the pool home. This is our affordable homes, but we are taking the pool homes as well. So, or if it's in the winter, now you take the winter home. So you take a home with nice fireplaces. So that's why we are putting everything in here so that you know or have get some ideas what is working in our business. Keep in mind, different areas are different, um, react different to your posting. So beat the heat, the summer, check out this amazing homes currently for sale in, I would put in here for Lauderdale. Florida with sparkling swimming pools. So if you are right now in the winter, you take that out and beat the cool this winter. Check out this amazing homes currently for sale in uh, with sizzling fireplaces. So get your imagination uh, going. I will provide you the text so that you have something to work with. And now, because I'm in Fort Lauderdale, we do not have sizzling fireplaces. Just a few, um, but they don't even warm us up. So, okay, so see photos, info, price, mortgage payment, amount, about, and click here. So, and now that's where we are putting our bit.ly link. We are taking from here. We copy that link and now we are putting that link in here so that people are now able to click that link and they, when you click that link, they will get onto this list over here where they now are seeing all the pool homes available. So it's usually soon because I'm probably locked in on here. Now you can uh, request more information. They can put in your name, email and number. And also depending, you should put it in so that you are able to to capture the information it should be when they click 
they need to fill out the information so that you are tucking their information. So here we uh, we on our website. We took that from here, took a search, and now we are moving over and post that. Now I would post it. I don't post it. So because I am not doing it, I am for myself running only advertising, the paid version of advertising. But this is one kind how you can generate leads organically your website now will uh, capture the information from your from your um, uh, lead that comes in you want name email and phone number you know that right and now when they are providing this information now you can send them or now they have access to all the pool homes and you now keep following up with your lead so that is one version now let's assume you want to share that into a group because we joined our groups and we joined groups and now we want to share that into the group so because i'm not posting it that's why you see leave the page i don't will to edit and now we are going into our groups where we are now can share that post into the group. So to share in groups now, you need to get into groups. And when you go in here and discover groups, Facebook will give you some information. When we are posting this, we are going into buy and sell groups in Fort Lauderdale. And sell so let's see buy and sell groups and you want to join groups no more than 10 a day so here you see we have broward county marketplace we have buy and sell let's see if i am in one of open groups so you see you have different groups they recommend buy and sell in here and now you have your buy and sell marketplace miami buy and sell south florida those are groups who probably will allow you to post your listings in here when you are joining them so i am no longer in those groups so let's see and you want to look for groups that have a high uh, membership so you see 76,000, 40,000, uh, as 457,000. 147,000. Those are the groups you want to join with your personal page, but also now you are able to join them with your business page. So either way, how you want to do it with your personal page, it is much, much easier to share. You just go in into the group, you post. So I am no longer in any group. So let me go in one into my groups so that I can show you exactly how you can post it. You come in here from your personal page and now I am able to start the discussion. You always want to start the discussion and now I could share it in here. So let me see. So now you are uh, going in there and share your post. Let me go to my profile. It is a little complicated since we are not doing this the way you are doing it. So go to my personal page. It takes a little longer here. So, and now you could share your post with a group, whatever you want to do. You see here, share in group, share to a group. And now I am able to share this into a group I belong to so that it is easy for me to share, share, share. Uh, Facebook made it very, very easy for us to share this information. So here we are, now you are sharing your post into uh, other groups and now people start 
to maybe clicking to your page. And if they want more information, they need to uh, uh, provide name, number, and email. So for groups, you want to go into groups which have a high membership rate. And when you want to post listings in there, I would recommend you are joining buy and sell groups. So that's what they are for. Do not post more than 10 times a day, including uh, other posts. So it is very, very, Facebook will watch you and you could land in Facebook jail, which many, many, many years exactly this brought me into Facebook jail because I posted too much at the one time into uh, Facebook groups. So, but when you follow our uh, um, strategy where we are doing videos, where we are informing our community about what is going on, how to live in our communities now, you are able to share in other groups. So where you now could be able to share into your interest groups, because now with your videos, you are no longer spamming with your listings. Now you are promoting your community, the lifestyle of your community. And that is also what people are looking for. But to that campaign and to that strategy, we are moving on down the road when we are talking about videos. I know many of you are still afraid of doing videos. so. Therefore, this is the first you can do if you want to have immediate lead generation, immediately leads are coming in. So keep in mind, they are probably not high quality leads. Probably they are just looking around, but once in a while, maybe you get a buyer who is actively looking to buy or sell and you can catch that lead and serve that lead accordingly. And hopefully you have your lead gen set up with this. You have to input all your leads into our dominate your local market CRM system. So we are not transferring them automatically over because this is not possible because it is organically, we cannot connect it. So when the lead comes in and you have a different CRM, if you want your leads here in dominate my local market, now you need to manual copy and paste name, number and email, and now you can set them on the follow up. If you have like KV Core, Keller Williams uh, uh, contact, now you have your own CRM that has follow up in place and also provides them continuously with lists of homes. That is fine. If you don't have a CRM, now try to use ours and your MLS probably can give you links so that you can or you import those information into your MLS and now provide the list of homes that are coming out. Now you send it over your MLS. So you have different options available for immediate lead general. But keep in mind, posting into groups, once the free listings of homes or, or um, free information, it is a little bit spammy and you will get people who make mean comments. So just be prepared for it. You need a thick skin in real estate, as you know. But if that is something you want to try and look into, <coughs> sorry, this is an option for you, where you now can start lead generate only uh, for um, uh, organic, where you are able to post and share in groups and you can catch a few leads this way. Another way is when you are able to post in marketplace, marketplace will not get you banned. So when you are posting here on marketplace, your list of homes for sale and the same principle applies. Now that doesn't looks at spammy. 
and also doesn't have the possibility to get you uh, uh, into Facebook jail. So you do the same thing in here. You are able in marketplace, people can uh, select what they are looking for, for vehicles or for property rentals, whatever they want to do. Now they can look in here for home sales and now they probably can find you so what you want to do to post your listing in here, you just create a new listing and you put an item or now we go in home for sale. We go directly. We add our photo in here. You see, Facebook made it very, very easy for you. That was the photo we had before. Is this available? So, and now even here in Marketplace, you are able to put several photos in it. I wouldn't do it. I would try maybe different postings with a different cover page and would take the one who is um, converting the best. So we have home for sale or rent, or we have home for sale. We can put property type, house, so number of bedrooms I would leave open, price, let's see if they are allowing us property address, I would just put in Fort Lauderdale, you don't need to put the address in here, okay. Florida, so that is the property address, please choose one of the addresses suggested in this drop down, no, then we don't, so let's see. Um, property description. You see Facebook changed already around. So we could please choose an address adjusted in the top down. Yeah, so now let's see if we can move forward. We are taking the same text which we did earlier with our bit.ly link we paste copy and just paste it in here and now when they move into our bit.ly link again they are moving to our website and have to uh, uh, provide the information so i probably shouldn't let me see if we can do it without leave the page. Process. They want, yeah, leave page. So let's see, maybe we shouldn't put the address now. We activated maybe Facebook. Since we are in video, that is always a little bit slower, a little bit trickier. So let's do it again if we can do it without. So, all right, so create a new listing and we are going home for sale and we put our picture in here. Always keep in mind the picture should exactly show what you are trying to sell for containing your area and we have for sale and the property type is a house or whatever you want to do, or you even could leave it free. We will have the property description in here. Paste our bit.ly link. So yes, heating. All right. And price a dollar. Let's see. It's a rental, it says rental. So we did the for sale. So uh, sometimes Facebook is just buggy, but work with it, yes. Or you do like the, depending what you are. So we put in 500,000. Yeah, so you see we put for sale in here. I don't even know why it is showing me as 500,000 a month, which is strange. So 
I don't know, even know. So, but keep going, just don't get uh, activated in here. And heating central, air conditioning central, parking type, garage parking, laundry type, property square foot. This is all optional. So, up here, the address they want the number of bedrooms, then they get number of bedrooms and they want the price and they want the property address. And now we just would put something in here. I wouldn't put the address in as normal as total. So you could the um, so Facebook doesn't allow us in here to put the property and that's how they are protecting themselves for spam or that you should use the paid version of their advertising because that's how they make money. So let's say I drive here, test street. Fort Lauderdale. So they want an address they are giving us. So you see, we, I, I didn't do it for a long time. If you have a house for sale, then just take that street from there and put it in here and took that picture. But don't uh, uh, say uh, specific to that house. What I would do is still take the feature of that house, pool, home, home, the fireplace, whatever, then put the address in here and then give them a list of homes. So that's how I would do it. I would take an, a listing what I have. And now we would put still the text in here because the only thing what we want to do is to get them over to our website and provide us the information in here. So Facebook now also makes it able that people can contact you through Messenger. So you see it changed a lot. We, I, I don't do it anymore. I only do paid advertising, but this is a, another option for you to create organic flow into your uh, lead flow so that you can get organically leads without even spending money. You see Facebook right now, it's a little bit buggy. We do have it up for sale. I don't know. So it's up for sale. They put it up for rent a month. So it's strange. So you have to see what is in your area. Also keep in mind when you are sharing this home list, uh, on Marketplace, it will show up on your personal profile. So that is a way how you can do it. Maybe you do it this way, post it first here, and then you can share it into groups out of your personal page. Or you could also do Facebook business pages and share everything from your business page into the group. So you can do it uh, different ways, but when you are on marketplace, you have to use your personal profile to be able to post your listings in here. Also keep in mind, maybe you have to uh, abide by your broker's rule where you now have to have information posted, where your brokerage is uh, viewable. So you could put your brokerage onto the picture so that you are compliant, uh, exposing your brokerage within this listing, or you do it down here and leave some room and then put your name and your brokerage below the bitly link. So that's how we would do it. We didn't do it for a long time. You see Facebook changed a lot since then, but uh, we would take probably an actual, actual listing, put the address in here, but still would provide them with a list of homes. And now you could structure like this right here for sale or whatever it is. So this is an option for you to generate leads on Facebook. If you are still doing Craigslist, 
Same thing, you take a picture, you put the bit.ly link in there, and now you can organically post into Craigslist and see if leads are coming in. It is all very uh, structured and you have to do it manual mm -hmm. and follow up manual because uh, with the free lead gen there, it's no way for us to see how uh, we can connect everything together on the background. But it is a good start for you if you want to start lead generation the slow way, get used to it and find ways how you can organically generate leads. Those options posting onto your profile, but do not spam. Please do not spam your buyer or seller because keep in mind, you have only your current clients and past clients on there. So be careful what you are doing. Um, maybe you go and we are talking about Facebook business pages. You take the route of Facebook business page as a better route or you only post it once onto your Facebook business page and then share it into groups. But people then again can see that you share that listing in to your group. So either way, it is an option for you of manual lead generate without paying money. It is very time consuming. And in the next videos, we will talk about a little bit more about Facebook business page and using paid advertising.